Boom! What's up, guys? I'm Sudo Gerudo, and this is Shovel Knight, episode 4. Let's go, let's do this, alright? See these, these, see these Master's Helicopter Blades? Fuck that shit. Okay, listen, we can't jump over to the other ledge just yet because that mice is gonna hit us and we're gonna fall down. So, we're gonna have to hit him. There we go, we hit him. We got the. Ah, oh, the. We, okay, there we go, we got the gem. We got one of the gems. Uh, we got more of these mice with helicopter. What, who, who is the point? What sort of military unit is the point? This is like. This is the Al Qaeda joke unit, is what this is. Uh, just want another one of these apples in the silver platters. What the hell? Um, anything under these sandstones? Okay, no, let's go down here anyway then. Uh, another of these chandeliers, swinging chandeliers. Uh, you see one of these breakable walls there? Uh, under the sh uh, right next to the chandelier? Uh, well, I couldn't actually get there, so I had to. You had to wait until the chandelier fell down, like in the correct level, so that you can actually jump off and then get to the ledge there, but we couldn't get it, so it doesn't matter. We got the break. We got the thing under the breakable wall. Um, I thought that was a breakable wall too, so eh, that's my bad. Uh, go down here and okay. Hey, you have one of these uh, knights, 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 knights. Should I call you a knight? Are you a knight? Uh, this is unfair. He has a shield, and that's not fair. I want a shield as well. How come I can't get a shield? And no, you know what? It's, it's not even just a shield. It's a shield with a spike on it, so I can't even. I can't just drop down calmly. Uh, well, you know, what can you do? Sometimes it's like, you know, you play games and then you find something unfair, but you know, you can, you find a way through it, and that's, that's the goal of the game, you know, solve problem. Here we go, we got two gems, uh, two rubies, actually, it's valuable. This goes to show how difficult it is beating that enemy. Not really difficult, but it takes time. Um, bookcases, listen, I, I play, I'm playing video games here, I didn't come here to learn, okay? I didn't learn, I didn't want to learn shit. We entered these secret rooms, the secret rooms, I, I guess you want to call that? Oh, I thought that was a night, but no, it's not. Um, here's the music note in the middle of the room, uh, as you can see, uh, you, have to, you have to defeat the mice in order to not fall. See that? See what happens? See, if I had jumped with that mice near me, I would have fallen down to the ground, or I would have fallen down into the abyss, and that would have been bad. Uh, this is actually a lot more difficult, a lot more difficult than it looks, because you have to time your jumps. Not only that, but you have to anger yourself in a position where you can actually get the music note, but I did it anyway, so, uh, you know, I make it look easy, but you know what, guys? It's actually pretty difficult, so, um... Making my way, making my way over to the bookcase. Uh, here's a book. Uh, oh, oh, you know, ordinary. You know how you know how sometimes you open a book and then you stab it with your shovel and then like layers of pages appear. And you can just jump on it as well as you know so that you don't you can use it as uh, things to avoid obstacles. Yeah, remember that. Okay, so use uh, just another one of these pages. Uh, activate it again. Oh, looks like hopefully we can make it through another. We, we can make it through. Hopefully we can make it through, and we made it through. Okay, good. Uh, Still, at the, still not at the boss yet. Uh, although I think we're getting pretty close. Cause I think we've just moved through our fourth checkpoint. If I'm not incorrect, if I'm not, if I am correct, or if I'm not incorrect. Uh, where do I go now? Oh yeah, we go to the other side of the room where the ladder was. But there are rubies behind these curtains, so that's important to know. Uh, here's another one of these griffins. Uh, as I said in the last episode, you stand. In an area where it's concave up so that you don't get damaged. Um, and that's important. Uh, okay, so. I, I, I call these things griffins because I think that's what they are. I, I may be incorrect, so just type it down at the bottom of the screen. But, uh, the comment section, what the hell? Okay, uh, here's one of these uh, things. I still don't know why it's silver. Oh, okay, so we're at the boss level. We're at the boss level now. And there's a lot of in our room! It's big gone from our throne, Nave! Throne room, Nave! I didn't get that right. <laughs> okay. Uh, yep. This is interesting to know because he's King Knight. Those are two, those are the two, like, most greatest terms or titles to have. King Knight. Shovel Knight. I'm no more intruder than you. You aren't even a real king. <laughs> oh, but you're mistaken. The enchantress saw me for my fabulous and regal self, and now all bow before me. You're not but a decadent dandy. Prepare to say it's justice. Shovel justice. Silence. I don't know. I think I got that from a video. Silence. Okay. Oh, you are shorter than I thought you would be. You have smaller legs than I thought you would. Um, okay. So, here's the boss. Here's the fight with King King Knight. He's jumping around. This guy is a jumper, I can tell you that right now. 
he can like if there, if he was if this was if this guy was real he'd be in the movie jumper, but that movie jumper was about different kind of jumping. But that's but he could be jumping pretty just as good. We have streamers. No, what is these like colorful things? Oh, I thought they were streamers. They came out of trumpets. So, but no, that's that's one of his attacks. Uh, by the way, this guy is pretty easy. Like he's not very difficult. All you have to do is keep jumping on his head, and that's you basically got him. Uh, he's almost dead, so he's dead now. There we go. See, so yeah, he had two hits, and boom, he's dead. That's why you don't stand still for me, because I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Here we go. We got all the points. We got all the points. He's dead. The crown's the crown's gone. The crown's not on his head anymore. So, uh, that's something you gotta know. That's something you can obviously see. Um, oh, we got not. We got one of these treasure chests. Yes. Whew. Uh, I think we're gonna enter a dream sequence. Yes, we are. Seriously, what is it? Is this this is the companion that we had? They, she had a shield. Is it, she had a shield. How come I don't get a shield? Huh? Save her. I, I'm trying, buddy. Let's take, take it easy, there. Listen, I'm being surrounded by these uh, skeletal things. Oh my god, they have so many rubies. They have so many gems. These this is probably one of the greatest levels in this game because they have so many rubies and you have so many gems. And these are these are it's a dream sequence, but you actually get these rubies. So that's cool. So you gotta know. Oh, uh, here we go. I think we got it. We got it. We got it. Come on. Come on. Jump up again. There we go. Oh, okay. See that? That campfire, the campfire is, 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 is extinguished because of my wild moving. Because I was in the dream. Meal ticket. Visit the gastronomer so that we can get the shit. The shit. Now uh, we have 5,975. We have a meal ticket and a uh, musical note. Musical sheet. I keep saying musical note, but that's incorrect. And we just opened, we just unlocked a new area of the map. So first of all, we're gonna go to the village because we're gonna we want to sell the music sheets. See, I said that correctly this time. Uh, see, this guy's jumping he up and down. He's like, he knows, he knows, he can smell the music sheet from our sh from our you know our sweaty armor. Uh, let's see, you got the decadent dandy. Okay, so let's just see. You got the you got the thing. I got the thing. I had two musical sheets apparently. Uh, here, this guy's jumping up and down because you can also smell the meal ticket. Hand it to me, I'll get to work on my best recipe. Okay, yes, we go. I'll dazzle, I'll razzle, dazzle your appetite. Um, also, just a reminder, we can actually buy another meal ticket from that goat at the bottom of the screen there. Because, you know, apparently he's called the Goldtician. Um, so we can, we can also buy more magic pot limits, maximum potion limits. Um, uh from this lady here so it's 2200 so that's expensive but we got it anyway okay so we'll make our way over to the other side of the okay well no yeah the shovel first because we gotta have to we have to com continuously prove to that guy that we are the shovel knight you know like uh, hold on a second is that a fucking horse with a red dress is that a horse with a red listen here Listen, you gotta understand that there are limits to how much drugs you can take before, when you start a video game, okay? When you start developing a video game, they can, there's only a certain amount of drugs you can take. Like, okay, Shigeru Miyamoto revolutionized the gaming industry probably by snorting cocaine. Now, he snorted cocaine, he got a bit creative, he said, okay, let's make 3D Mario, alright? And then we'll make Ocarina of Time, we'll make Legend of Zelda in 3D, and then, you know, it revolutionized the video game industry. But there is, there is a limit. There is, you can only have so much cocaine before the creativity starts like muddling with your every every other you know faculty, mental faculty that you have. As you can probably see, we're in uh, some ruby level. Basically, you get all these. That's the main objective here. Just get all these rubies. And, uh, we got some of these. Uh, they got the they got the shrub thing back. You know where you hit the shrub and you jump off it, and that's cool. And uh, we got a treasure chest, and hopefully the camera stops moving. It does stop moving. Okay, so uh, we got all these things, and we get out of here. Okay. So, that uh, hopefully we can visit one of these, one of uh, a lot more of those levels. That's the forest of phase, and we cleared that. Here's Tropal Pond. Uh, I still don't know what to do there. I don't. I, don't, I fucking don't even know. And that's see, d d dear lady. Mm, nope. Okay. We still. I still don't know what to do in this Tropal Pond. Hey, okay. Listen, guy. What do you want? Uh, is there something that you actually want? No, I got a piece of my mind. Listen, who are you talking about? Maybe you want to say some some names here. I can. I you want to name names? Okay, I can go. But here, I'm gonna go over to the new section of the map because you know this is what this game's all about. Uh, this is Plague Knight. Explore the d d explore the door. To Plague Knight. Lair of Plague Knight. Um, Plague Knight. What you gotta? Uh, the Iron Whale as a treasure knight. So I had to get more treasure. <laughs> I don't know. Knuckles Quarry. What do you do here? 
It's in the volcano. That's 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 something that's a bit worrying. That's concerning me. But here, let's go check it out. Um, here's a horse. Uh, side. There's no way to punch through. I wish I could. That's gonna leave a mark on my on my uh, pop filter. And <laughs> I'll tell you that. Uh, but here's the thing. I don't know what he means by punching. Like, it's it was like phasing with the other lady, but we actually had the phase thing. Let's leave the stage. I can't do anything about it. Okay, uh, let's go back in and see if there's anything else we can do. Because I hit the sandstone I'm, I'm mistakenly. Um, but there's nothing. He, there's nothing here we can do though. Okay, listen. I can't. I can't. We can't jump upon the sandstone because we don't. What does he mean by punch through? Like, what is that? Like, does that give us a boost in our jumps or something? Does it? Does it let us punch? on the ground and then shoot us upwards? I don't know. Um, okay, Treasure Knight. Do I want to go to Treasure Knight or the Plague Knight? I don't know. Okay, we'll go to Plague Knight. Dig in! Thanks, mate. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Um, that's an interesting looking... That's a new looking platform. No, it's, this is an obstacle, isn't it? This is an obstacle. Watch it. Yeah, there we go. It's, it's fire! It's fire. So as more of these, that's something I'm not looking forward to in today's episode. Ah, oh, shit. Does it affect the? Uh, no, it doesn't affect the uh, enemies. They can flee. They can freely walk on it. And uh, did that? Did that rat just just blow itself up? Am I gonna have to deal with? Not only am I gonna have to deal with uh, fire coming out of these platforms, I'm gonna have to deal with rats blowing up. This is Al Qaeda rats. Are these Al Qaeda? This is the second time I made an a reference to Al Qaeda this episode, and that's not that's not uh, that's healthy. I tell you that, man. Uh, you know, it's gone onto the internet, so people are gonna find the Al, Al Qaeda find out my address and they come and blow my house up. That's not nice. That's not something that I'm looking forward to. But this is I'm not deal I'm not I'm not dealing really well with these uh, blowing up rats, these explosive rats. That's because they keep blowing up in my face. They jump in my face. I hit them and they blow. They 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 jump like. Like one millimeter away from me, and they explode. I'm still caught in that explosion radius, so that's not good for me. We have also we have these we have these flybys, and you know these they're, they're dropping shit on me. Like, and that's is this okay? Like if if each level had a theme, like uh, an, a narrative theme that it wanted to explore, this level would be the net would be the narr the theme of. Terrorists, you know, terrorists blowing shit up. Cause that's what, that's what, that's all you have here. It's things being blown up and shit like that. And that's, I really, I'm not, I'm not, I can't, I can't deal with it. Looks like, okay, looks like we got a gold, um, a gold checkpoint sign thing. I don't know, I don't know what the, what the relationship is between me and these checkpoint colors, but I, I get a lot of silver, so it's, it's nice. It's refreshing to see these. This, it can actually turn gold. Uh, believe it or not, it can actually turn red. I think I explained this in my last episode that I got red. Um, I got a red one in my in uh, in a level that I did on my in a level that I did on my own. So here we go. We got a treasure chest on the other side there, but we got to jump and we got to we got to make it quick because we don't want to actually damage ourselves from the fire. Okay, here we go. Make it quick. Okay, there we go. See that's the spikes on the oh shit actually goes up. It actually goes all the way up. I think we die. If we go too far up, it's like Super Smash Brothers, where you have boundaries on each side of this of the screen. So if you go too far off the screen, you'll die. And jump off. This will be easy. Okay, there we go. Done. Go down a ladder, and hopefully the enemies don't respawn. They respawn, and that's not nice. Or did we actually defeat the enemy? I don't know. I'm not sure if we killed this rat. But I don't wanna. I don't wanna mess with it because it's it'll fucking explode. Here we go. Okay, listen, you can't be throwing bird seeds. You can't be throwing bird seeds as as Okay, that's is that that was a bird itself. That was a toucan, I think it was. And it's it's it was throwing its own food at me. And that's not I don't know if I wanna do that. Like, if I had taco, if I went to Taco Bell, I got like a taco and then I went outside and I thrust I stopped throwing at that thing. It's like animals. Like I won't that's not gonna be nice for me. Cause I'm gonna be wasting my food just to, just to damage that enemy, and that's not something I wanna do. It's not even a one hit kill. Uh, we got spikes up on these raising platforms in the cauldrons. On the cauldrons, um, I don't know how to feel. I don't know how I feel about this. It just amps up the difficulty. But I'm pretty sure that what you have to do is you have to, in order to jump over the spikes, you have to actually be on the cauldron on the platform that is raised up. So 
And also, I gotta time my jumps here. I gotta time my run here, because this will raise me up to the spikes above. And that, oh, that's not healthy at all. Oh, I died. See, that's not... See, was, they got that blue spike in the way, and I... I that fucked me over. Ah, shit. It's good that this platform is raised into an area that doesn't have spikes on it, because I, that provides me a resting area, so I can plan out my next moves. Okay. Yeah, uh, uh, okay, thankfully that doesn't kill us instantly. We got the gold one and that's fine. Um, uh, okay. Ah, uh, come on, I was trying to get I was trying to use it as a platform to get up to the ruby there, but uh, looks like we're gonna have to go back. Looks like we're gonna have to go back. Uh, that's unfortunate. Do they respawn if like if they move out if the if that area moves away from the screen? Yes it does, they do. They do actually. And we made it, nigga, we made it, okay. Um, oh, okay, there's a secret passenger, okay. Okay, this is lovely, I didn't even, I didn't, I didn't even, I couldn't even guess this would happen. I didn't, oh, looks like we have a green enemy here, like the yellow one's from the last area, but it's green. That means, you know what, you know what I mean, that means it's got, it's plagued, it's plagued, that's why. That's why it's called a plague knight, because he just, he infests the area with plague and everyone else gets, that's why everyone, everything here is green, that's why. The green rats, green blobs, green knights, they're all plagued. And that's, did you gotta know, see that, the only thing that wasn't green were the flyers, you know, the purple flyers. But the thing is, they could fly, so they could avoid the area that have, pla that have been plagued. Uh, we didn't get the, come on, get the green, come on, get the green, come on, get the green, come on, get the green. Okay, we'll get the blue thing, we got the treasure chest, we got the uh, relic here, Chester says, you're not gonna believe it. okay, so alchemy coin, toss a coin for for a chance at riches, what does this do, I don't even know, do we have to pay $3,000 for this, okay, fucking whatever, I call it $3,000, I don't know what else to call it, 3000 gold, 3000 what does this even do, okay, we'll just get the phase thing, we'll get the rubies while phasing, come on, 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 I'm, on, I'm trying to do this, but I'm, I can't do it. Okay, looks like you can't actually hit it with the ruby and then equip and then get it. But yeah, we got it. Nigga, we made it. Okay, so we, it's all about timing. You gotta really time the jump. I keep saying that a lot in this in this let's play, but that's the that's the that's the point of platform is timing jumps. Okay, and we just we just completely, you know cheated our way through that. I'm pretty sure that was not the intent. I'm pretty sure that there's like some other technique that the developers had in mind when crossing that platform, but pretty sure phasing through it was not one of them. Um, so we have more of these cauldrons, um, and we, we got this blue, th we got this purple thing here actually, and it's spitting out AIDS. Listen, you can't be throwing AIDS around like that. That's not nice. You can't, that's not, you can't do that. I fuck. Okay, well, you know what? I can't do anything about it. It's green this time. That's a downgrade, but it's still colored, so that's good. Um, we have these two rubies there. We have these green mice there. And thank you guys for watching this episode of Shovel Knight. If you like this episode, please click the like button. If you really like this episode, please consider subscribing. I'm Sudo Garudo, and I'm out.